to you all. It is the season of vacations, right? I hope you guys have some fun vacations planned. I recently went to Cuba, which was awesome. While I was there, I experimented with some fun hair looks, which I got a bunch of questions from you guys on my Instagram photos about them. Travel here can be challenging because you're dealing with different climates and the water can sometimes be different when you're showering, which can lead to your hair feeling different. But with a few tips, products, and hairdos that I'm gonna share with you today, it will ensure that you love your vacation hair. So I'm gonna show you three of my favorite favorite looks and that is down and healthy and happy hair using the right shampoo and conditioner, my technique for a hair scarf, which a ton of you have been asking me about. And then I'm also gonna show you my technique for a messy bun, which is a great go-to when you're like dirty and in a rush. Well, I mean dirty hair, shower, otherwise baby wipe. Okay, cool, let's do it. So for this first look, it's all about healthy, happy hair while on vacation, which depends a lot on your shampoo and conditioner. Do not depend on those icky hotel shampoos. I always like to bring my own, and I am obsessed with this Hair Food Color Protect Shampoo. I use it with the conditioner as well. It's free of silicones and parabens, and I use the Color Protect line because I personally color my hair. Before you vacation, it's really good to do a deep conditioning treatment because you'll lock in that moisture before you go in the water, the ocean, or in the sun. And I like to use the hair milk conditioner. I just thoroughly coat my hair after a shower in the evening, put on a plastic shower cap, and then one of those cotton headbands around the front of the shower cap to just keep it nice and locked on. And then I will sleep in that and in the morning. I rinse out the conditioner and my hair is luscious and moisturized. I usually let my hair dry naturally, which sometimes it dries slightly unevenly. So I unify my curls with my wave wand. Let's make this look magic. This process of unifying my texture is really quick and easy. I just pull out locks of hair that look a little frizzy or straighter than the rest and I twist them around the tapered barrel of the iron. I usually direction the waves away from my face. For the top layers of my hair, I will pull the barrel of the iron down my hair so the roots lay a little bit flatter but the ends get curled. And that's it. Give yourself a little root lift with a scalp massage and voila, you're ready for vacay. which is all about, you guessed it, the hair scarf. This is a tutorial that is so much requested from you guys. And what's awesome about it is I'm finally doing it. And what's even more awesome is it's really easy. So I'm gonna show you the technique of tying the hair scarf. And I'm also going to prep my hair. Cause let's say you're on vacation. This could be a good look for like a day two or day three. Cause it covers up your roots. But nonetheless, I like to use a dry shampoo and this is the hair food sulfate free dry shampoo infused with uh, kiwi fragrance because nothing says vacation like a kiwi. And I'm also going to lengthen out some of these curls because if I tie a headscarf around my head with this super curly hair, I look like Brett Michaels. So I am going to lengthen out my curls with a bit of a wider barrel curling iron, which is just gonna kind of act as like a stretching and lengthening thing. This is a big rectangle. That is really important because you need a lot of fabric to get a nice big bow in front. This one is a nice sheer fabric or you could also do one that's nice and silky but you don't want to do anything that's too bulky so let's get to time to lengthen out these tighter curls I'm dividing my hair into two sections and I'm starting with the bottom layers I'm using the same technique of wrapping my hair away from my face and because of the bigger barrel it relaxes the curls into looser waves now it's time to spray my roots with some of this kiwi freshness if your scarf has a pretty pattern that varies, like mine, decide what area you want near the front before you fold your scarf. The width of your scarf will dictate the amount of times you have to fold it to get the right width for your head. Place the center of your scarf on your hairline and wrap the two lengths around to the back of your head and crisscross at the nape of your neck. At this point, you can slightly adjust the width of your scarf by folding a little bit under if it's too wide. Now take the two lengths and pull them back towards the front of your head and tie your bow. I like to place my bow slightly off from the center of my face, which I think makes it look more vintage. Tie the bow how you would any regular bow and just make sure to fluff the loops by separating the folds so they look really nice and full. Now I'm ready for a vintage inspired vacation. Just a 
blast from the past to travel through the decades, but I've come back to show you a more current look, which is the perfect messy top knot. Because sometimes when you're on vacation, you wanna just do your hair really quickly because you wanna get out and enjoy your surroundings. You can also do it with like two or three day dirty hair, add a little more of that dry shampoo, and you're good to go. But here's the thing. Do you ever notice that those fashionistas and the celebrities out there always have the perfectly messy top knots? It looks chic, but messy, but chic. How do they do it? I figured out some ways to ensure that your top knot looks messy chic, not messy messy. So obviously you're gonna need a hair elastic. I like to use the blonde ones because they blend in with my hair. And I like to have some bobby pins on hand. Sometimes I get the loop of the top knot so perfect I don't even need bobby pins. If you have super straight hair, you might want some bobby pins to tuck in those flyaways. And then I love to have a dark lip on hand when I'm doing a top knot because I just think it takes a messy bun into that chic realm. This is the lip I'm gonna use. It is the NYX soft matte lip cream in Vancouver. Never been there. If you're doing this look in slightly unwashed hair, you can soak up excess oil with some more dry shampoo. I like to gather my hair on the top of my head starting at the sides because that is the area of hair that I want to be tightest to my head. Then I add in the back and front areas of hair to the gathering into the elastic. On the final hair pull through the elastic, leave the ends of your hair out so you have a loop on the top of your head. You can smooth any bumps of your hair using your fingers, which is what I like to do to leave it a little messy looking. Use the loop as the bulk of your bun and twist the ends of your hair around the base to conceal the elastic. You can tuck the ends of your hair into the elastic or use bobby pins to secure. If your hair is really long, you may want to fold the loop down and pin it so it doesn't look too big and floppy but retains that messy look. Now another key to keeping this messy look look chic is to pull those face framing baby hairs, or as I like to call them, the JLo's, to give the look that soft, undone, and feminine feel. Now apply your sultry dark lip color and you're ready for a sightseeing adventure. go on vacation again right now. Do you guys have any fun vacations planned? I wanna know, let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you're gonna try any of these hairdos or if you have any questions at all. I love to chat with you guys in the comments and thank you so much for watching. And make sure you share your favorite vacation hairstyles using hashtag Target Style and hashtag Mr. Kate. And of course, you can get all of these products that I use today at Target or on Target.com. And please subscribe guys, we have so many fun videos we're working very hard to make for you. So you don't wanna miss those. So thumbs up if you like the video because I love you guys and have fun on your vacations or staycations with fabulous hair. Next.